Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create some animated Tailwind CSS buttons. So I've just recently created this Tailwind CSS button resource, and you can see that they have these nice hover effects. So you can hover over these buttons, and you can see these nice effects that happen. So I'm gonna go through this video and kind of show you how I created these. And then if you like the video, you can learn about how to create these animated buttons, and then maybe also visit this page and give us an upvote on Product Hunt. So if you go to Product Hunt right now, you'll see that we are like fifth on there. So go ahead and go to Product Hunt, give us an upvote, and let me show you how to create some of these cool animated buttons. Okay, so I'm going to go to play.tailwindcss.com, and this is where I'm going to kind of just play around and create our button. So the first thing I'll want to do is I want to create a container, and I want to give it a full width, and I want the height to be the height of the screen. And then I also want to align all this to be center. So we'll say flex item center, justify dash center. Okay, so anything that I put inside of this section, hello, will be centered. So let's go ahead and just create our button. So I'm just gonna create an A tag and I'm just going to make this link go to, it'll be hash underscore. And the reason why I do that is because it will just add that hash underscore to the URL if somebody clicks it. A lot of times if you only add the hash, it will actually redirect them. So if it's just for demo purposes, you wanna add the hash underscore. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a class of relative. I'll add some padding X, uh, padding Y of two, actually, yeah, 2.5. And let's go ahead and give this also a class of group because we need this group class in order to, in order to do group hover. So let me go ahead and show you an example. Okay, so if I name this button text, and actually let's give this a background as well. I'll say BG blue of 500 and text white. Okay, so now maybe let's add a little bar at the top that as you hover, it will go from the left to the right. So we can easily do that just by creating a new span element. And I'm going to say that this is absolute with a width of zero and we'll say height of 0 0.5. We want it to have background of white, and then we also want this to be left, zero, and top of zero. And I also like to keep the text inside of a span as well, and I'll just go ahead and give this a class of relative, just so it's not just hanging there as some text. So let's say as we hover this, we want the width to go from zero to 100. So we'll say group hover, w full and we also want to add a little bit of animation so we'll say transition all i like to use the ease out and then we'll say duration of 300. so now let's go ahead and hover the button and you'll see that we have that nice overline that kind of comes in so we could also make this instead of what we had h to 0.5 we could say h full and let's go ahead and give us a different background than white maybe let's say blue 700. And now if we hover over this, you're gonna see that we have that animation as it slides in right here. So let's go ahead and also say that we want this to be rounded LG. And you can see that that's already looking kind of nice, but you can see that we have the rounded corners. And then as we hover over, the corners become square. So we can actually say overflow dash hidden. And now if we were to hover over, you can see that we have that nice little animation effect. So I'm going to take this one step further. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of create like a box on the bottom of this button. And then as you hover, I'm going to have the box rotate up. And it's going to kind of create a nice animation effect. So we want to turn hidden, overflow hidden. We'll just misspell that so we're not actually hiding it. So let's say that we want a rectangle with a width of 64. And we'll say a height of 64 as well. Let's give it an MT of, we'll say 24. Actually, let's make that less, let's say 12. Yeah, that looks pretty good right there. So now let's go ahead and say rotate 45. And we want to give this a negative MT, we'll say 24. Okay, so we want it to cover the whole thing. So what I want to do is I actually want to say on group hover, 
we want this to be negative MT of 24. In group hover, we want this to rotate 45. So now as we hover over the button, you can see that it kind of comes up like that. I actually don't like how it's going in that direction. Let's turn it the other way. So let's say negative rotate 45. And that looks like the animation is going to be a little bit better. So you can see the magic behind the overflow hidden because as we set overflow hidden and we hover over the button, we now have this nice animation effect. So let's change this to maybe a color that you can see it quite a bit more. So we'll say BG pink of 600. So now as we hover over the button, we have this nice animation effect. And we could change the duration to be a little bit slower. So I could say a thousand, maybe we just want this to be ease, linear. And you can see that animation happening right there. So there really is the magic is behind this overflow hidden. So if we didn't have that hidden there, we would just have this element that as we hover over, it creates that animation effect. But as we add the hidden, and let's change this to duration of, I think 500 would be better. Now we hover over it and we have this nice animation effect. So that is just a quick intro on creating some animated buttons using Tailwind CSS. Like I said, if you want to check out some of these created buttons that have these nice hover effects, be sure to visit devdojo.com slash tailwindcss slash buttons. And if you got a second, be sure to head on over to Product Hunt. Go ahead and click on the Tailwind CSS buttons project. Give us an upvote. Leave me a comment, and I would love to hear your feedback. Uh, but until I see you in the next video, I hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you later.